What is up, guys? Be like here, and today we are back in action on Feed the Beast Monster. I'm joined by my buddy, that German guy. Uh, What's up, Ghost Wolf? And Loki. And this is really cute. What's <laughs> What's really cute? My My Thomecraft hallway is blocked off by a glass wall. <laughs> yeah. So oh, I, yeah. I guess while I was doing important stuff, German decided to do stuff that wasn't so important. <laughs> <laughs> you can. The cool thing about that glass is you can just, just break glass? it with your fists. Yeah. Yeah, it's a tinker's glass. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's, it's, I like it just because it's clear. Yeah. It's kind of like one of those things yeah. where birds try to fly through and then end up crushing their bones. <laughs> <laughs> that hap Dude, that happened when I was a kid. I was, like, sitting in the living room watching, like, TV with my grandma, and this blue jay flew into the window and bent its beacon. And so it just hit the window and, fell, and fell on the ground, and so I went and, like, looked at it, and its beak is completely bent in. And it's just lying there, and I went, <laughs> wow. I went to pick it up, and it, like, freaked out and flew away. <laughs> okay, so uh, before we start doing stuff, I kind of want to explain something real quick. Maybe this will kind of tell you guys what's going on right here, too. So this is our Cori Ender Chest. Anything that comes from the Cori automatically uh, comes right here, and these pipes kind of sort these into barrels. Um, and what we had before was okay. it sorted all the random stuff into chests. Well, now, um, down here right below the Ender Chest, if you right-click it, this uh, the red pipe right below okay. the No, the pipe right below the Ender Chest. If you can access it, yep. you'll, you'll see that it has a filter. Oh, cool! So what I'm doing is I'm telling it to any ores, which I don't have all the ores in here. Uh, any ores is going to be filtered down into this chest, and then what'll happen is they'll get pumped out of the chest into the pulverizers down here, and the pulverizers are set up so they'll automatically put it into the furnace, and then ejaculate into uh, this, <laughs> this chest right here. <laughs> um, okay, <laughs> I'm a child. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, so, but anything else that's not ore, I'm going to set up uh, right here to, uh, you can take a wrench of mostly any type, right click it, turn this into uh, something it'll automatically go out of. So this is going to be the default route back in the chest, so things that don't need to smelt like um, redstone, emeralds, diamonds, all the th okay. thumbcraft shards. They're going to default into the chest at the end here. Okay, cool. Uh, and that's not everything. I don't have all the ores. I don't have all the stuff that needs to be right here. But, you know, it's kind of a start. That's why I have this chest right here. Just any extras can just lie and we'll work on the filters and all that stuff. As we come to now, it. Now, what is your efficiency on this system for most ores? Uh, like one ore goes in, how much do you get out? Oh, uh, this is um, thermal expansion doubles the ores. Okay, so it's a 2x efficiency. Yeah, yeah. Um, also, the reason uh, you don't... Last episode, I couldn't figure this out. I couldn't get the stuff to come out of this chest into the pulverizers. And that was because the item ducks, they're really smart. They look for valid locations to put items. Um, you know, like, they, they're really smart about it. If something is already in a spot, it automatically puts it in that spot. And these pulverizers weren't set to accept items, so the item ducks wasn't pulling out of this chest, and I couldn't figure it out last episode. So, okay. Yeah, so if you click on these pulverizers and click, nice. click on the, the green tab here on the pulverizer, you'll see there's a configuration. Okay. Oh, wow, look at that. Uh, you can config configure all um, you know, five sides. The front side doesn't do anything, but to be output, input, that kind of stuff. Well, orange is output, uh, blue is input. So as you can see, I have the bottoms okay. of the pulverizers as input, so that way the pipes can automatically you know, put stuff inside of them. Oh, that's convenient to make very, very compressed pipe networks, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm used to the build craft stuff with industrial craft, where you have to kind of wire it a little bit less intelligently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, item ducts are probably my favorite pipe system so far. They're pretty new. Uh, thermal expansion, the older versions of the thermal expansion didn't have item ducts, they just had liquid ducts, so. Yeah, that's, nice. that's pretty much everything summarized. Yeah, because I think for the very, like, that might be better for some of these weird ores. I mean, I've got a collection of raw ore back here that just has, like, all kinds of random stuff. Bauxite, and yellowite, and pitch Actually, blend. Let's, and let's take some indium. raw ore. Let's take some... Uh, I'm going to take some copper out of here, and I'm going to show something. Okay. Okay, so... I'll There's a reason I was asking about the efficiency, because I think on the Thaumcraft, my Infernal Furnace actually gets a little bit better 
um, efficiency than that in raw ores. Oh yeah, maybe because you get all the extras and stuff. Because I have the pickaxe of the core, which makes uh, ore clusters, which start with two x. Mm -hmm. Plus, then I get generating some extra nuggets off of the furnace. Here, so come, come here and right. It's a little bit higher than two. Come here and right click the okay, right -click. Uh So okay. you see, you see the two orange sides. Uh, the orange is mm -hmm. out output. You know, like the blue is where the ore will go, and then also we'll... there's a chance of something third. Okay. Yeah, the thing on the bottom is a chance. So iron has a chance to turn into ferrous. Uh, silver has a chance to give an extra lead, stuff like that. So you'll get extras every once in a while. I think it's like maybe a ten. So to... it's probably pretty close then for efficiency. It's two time, two plus a chance, which is about the same as what I get. Okay, cool. Also, these pipes. Except... Uh... Oh crap! These pipes. Bravo, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, if you right click on the red thing here, if I can access it. And I just completed a 64k drive. Oh, did you? Nice. Boom. Uh, just actually, barely. Ah, oh, that big drive storage system. Yeah, yeah. It won't let me access it, but you can actually set it to ignore, um, like, or use the ore dictionary. So anything that's copper, even if you have 16 different types of copper, it'll all make them look like the same thing. So, it'll grab all okay. of them as the same thing. So, like for example, I have three different types of silver here. I'm gonna put all three silver in. It should grab all of them. Yeah, they already got taken away. <laughs> yeah, unless yeah, yeah. See, it's grabbing all the other silver, even though I only have one inside of this, like included in the hmm, thing. Nice. So, also, if you guys want to use our thing here, then uh, you're more than welcome. So. Oh my I gosh! There's I don't want to share. <laughs> Someone was mentioning that I, we needed trash cans in, in a mod, and I can't find trash can loot. Oh. <laughs> I, I always look for trash cans in, like, Pokemon Let's Play. Random oh, yeah. comment. Okay, anyway. Uh, trash cans are pretty much just, like, void chests, you know, they just delete shit. Yep. Um, Is so... there any reason why there are blocks of stone? I thought that was a pipe for a second there. Or is it just uh, marking off space? Well, I did, I did have um, chests underneath here. But your your golem ah, okay. or was like like jumping on top of them and getting stuck. So yeah, your these... golems are thieving little bastards. <laughs> I yes. saw, I saw oh, put... yeah. You haven't seen Loki's chest for a thieving yes. little bastard. Yes. Come here. Yeah, Loki's chest will pick up anything within what is it like twenty something block radius and instantly put it in its inventory. Oh, is that the little guy that walks around? No. No, it's, a, it's a chest. It's a magic chest. Yeah, yeah, the little chest that walks around or whatever. Actually, I need no, to change. No better. Oh, is this a chest? I need to change all of these into item ducks, so because these pipes are. Bring it chest. over. Yeah. Okay. I'll well, make oh, it I one. can't. Yep. Sorry. Okay, so yeah, I'll, I'll actually. Uh, yeah. What I'll is make it? Make my golem obsolete. What? What'll make? He's going to make another one of the pick up chests. Oh, okay. You guys have obsidian. Uh, yes, yeah, we, we got have, a ton. Um, yeah, I've got a couple stacks. We have like 1,500 in the terminal right here. 1,500? Yeah, our quarry, really? our quarry, there was water, and it turned all the lava below it into obsidian, so the quarry just mined all the obsidian. Oh, that works. Yeah. How much do you need, Loki? <laughs> um... Oh, uh, right here. Come here, Gus. Two for right now. Gus, come here. Have you, you ever would, used a plug? The one chest I skip. No, no, Gus, come here. I'm trying to tell you. It it's in the. Uh, have you ever used applied oh. energetic support? Right click this top thing. I oh. have not used. Well, I, I, Loki looked at this a little bit. That was oh wow, that's a nice convenient storage system. Yep. Uh, then, you haven't seen the best part yet. And I can just take a stack of obsidian now. Cool. Yeah. Um, oh, it's right. sortable and everything. Yeah, it is. All right, I'll go run this over real quick, and then I'll come back and take a little more. Here you go, Loki, in your backpack. So which is now, f which is already we have full. a couple. We have a couple options of what we want to do. We can either start on some IC2 stuff because some of the machines are pretty useful, or we could uh, make our auto, like our applied energistic system here, more advanced by adding auto crafting and then you know kind of making it our base pretty awesome with that. Oh, yeah, auto right. crafting is always a fun thing to show off. Mm -hmm. uh, what I was thinking is maybe we could. Uh, take a export buses which is from applied energistics here and connect it into this and what it'll do is automatically export all of the stuff in this chest and put it into our system right here oh that's nice mm -hmm. yep okay ah so look he's got his chest oh, uh, yeah, put it over here in the near the farm because it's gonna that way it'll actually grab stuff from the farm just eh. <laughs> bravo sir 
Good job. I forgot I wasn't in bat mode. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Are you sick, man? He's got a little I will hit cold. you with my sword. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, let's go around the room over here. Okay. Notice the little wand thingy. So there's a wand on top of the chest. Oh, wow. Item collector. So, let's say I take ten stacks of watermelon and just start spraying it everywhere. Oh, the item collector automatically gets it? You see oh. it puffing up into smoke? Mm hmm Yeah, like... Oh, and so I'm actually putting in this chest right here. That's really cool. That's cool. Yeah, it does it, like, stacks at a time, too. Yeah. Oh, wow. And it works on any storage chest I've found so far. So diamond chests, um, barrels. Oh, wow. That's the cool. advanced one has a filter where you can say it'll only pick up certain items. But honestly, that's just so convenient. So any item you throw in this room, it's probably going to end up in that chest, just so you know. <laughs> I'll yeah. turn the radius on it down. Uh, well, it's fine. Oh, yeah, it has controllable radius. As too. long as your golems don't come all the way around, pick it up, and bring it, like, get stuck right here. Yeah, I'm actually going to uh, go grab my golem bell and uh, collect that collection golem, because Loki's chests are more efficient than the golems. I can turn those golems into more useful things. Uh, there's the golem bell. Mm. And I don't think we ever need collecting golems again, so I can actually just uh, pop its uh, enhancement cores out, too. I love the golems. I need to make a uh, Thalmium Golem uh, War Chief. Mm -hmm. Alright, you are the Crop Golem, you are the Collecting Golem. So apparently I already managed to fill the uh, MA system somehow. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. I guess we just have just that much crap. Oh, well, that's with types, not... Uh, you're not putting, like, random items in there, are you? Nope. Just uh, important stuff? Yep. Anything we could use for craft. The only type of wood I put in there was oak, and only the planks. Cool. I was gonna put all the regular used mob drops in here too, but there's no more spacey. Oh, uh, so I was thinking maybe we do IC2 stuff. So I guess first of all we need IC2 power. Um, we already have. Uh, all right. We already have a lava set up, so maybe we can just continue that. Do IC2 lava. Let's see. And yeah, I'm pretty sure that lava is gonna outproduce anything we do until we hit nuclear reactors. Which, the only thing I'm really sad about, Thomcraft 4 doesn't have the Thomcraft 3 enchanted warded stone. You can't make completely um, foolproof reactor shelters anymore. Oh, really? We're gonna have a risk of blowing our base up. Yeah. That warded stone was perfect. It was so cheap to make, and you just, like, can build an Wait, they got rid of warded stone? Just never explode. Yeah. I mean, I've oh, got my wow. Thomcon with me, right? Thomnomicon here, and it's got... The paving wrong stone with of warding, paving stone of travel, and then arcane stone. But it's it's just a stronger stone, but it's not invincible anymore. Hmm. Yeah, I need some more that of those um, circuit things. How do you make those? The advanced processing. So, for lava, we could do geothermal generators. Yep. Um, let me actually start getting all of my... Stuff oh, converted over. Do you guys have a macerator making the flux dust yet? Uh, or your equivalent of a macerator? Uh, yeah, pulverizer uh, is... Well, uh, my thing that is better than the macerator. Mm. My pickaxe. What's it do? My pickaxe uh, will double plus some stuff. Or I not, for not, oh, for yeah, for, not for quartz. Not for quartz. Not for quartz. Actually, for their stuff, I may just put all this stuff in your chest and just take care of it. I think you get probably close enough to the same yield. 